Light gates. Say what? Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Today we'll be talking about how to use light gates to measure the speed of an object. You will need this equation. And to listen carefully, this is a light gate. This is another light gate. This is the first light gate again. This is a data logger to go with the light gate, and I like to call it a beepy box. This is a light gate plugged into a beepy box. The light gate has an infrared beam going from one end to a detector on the other. When the beam is broken, I mean blocked, we can set up the beepy box to tell us how long that beam has been blocked. Woohoo! Now let's say we move the light gate with a constant speed. In order to measure the speed, we need to measure how long it takes the light gate to cover a certain distance. This is where the beepy box comes in handy. We simply move the light gate over an object of a certain length. Oh no, now there's a 15 centimeter long board rubber to block the light gate beam. And the beepy box will record how long it takes the light gate to cover this distance. Bosh! Using our equation, we can measure the speed of the light gate by dividing the distance with the time. Now for other objects moving through a stationary light gate, the principle is the same. Just whack a piece of card of a known length on the moving object, and it's all good. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and other things. <laughs>